Hey, what's up, guys? It's XX Modern Warfare here, Game Attack Banjo Chicken, and welcome to JTAG Tutorials episode 21, where I'm going to be showing you how to install and how to get Xbox Live Stealth emulated, uh, which is a service that allows you to get your JTAG or RGH console on Xbox Live, where you can do tons of mods and just loads and loads of stuff you can do with the JTAG online. So, many people wanting, or many people have been requesting this tutorial, so about time I got this up. So Xbox Live Stealth emulated you're going to need a few things to um, get this up and running. Luckily I have a JTAG tutorial and everything that you need so you're going to need um, Dash Launch installed which is on episode 3 um, you're going to need uh, your JTAG updated to the latest dashboard which is on episode 10 so the latest dashboard at the moment from when I'm making this video is 16537 um, you're also going to need a program called Xbox 360 Neighborhood, uh, which is on episode 17, and you're going to need a unbanned key vault, um, which you may have already, but um, if your console's banned, you'll need to get an unbanned key vault, uh, which is episode 20, previous video, or, well, previous tutorial. Um, so, once you have all of that, and I'll put a link to my JTAG Tutorials playlist in the description where you can find those episodes I um, pointed out for those things that you're going to need. And once you have got all of that installed, what you want to do next is um, buy Xbox Live Stealth Emulated. It's not a free service. Um, here's their website. I'll put this in the description. It's www.xblse or XB, sorry, I should say XBLS emulator.tk. Um, it tells you the requirements. It's $20 a day. That's kind of the common package most people buy. That's the one I buy when I go online. Um, but you can also buy a week for $100 or a month for $200. But there's costs of like key vaults and stuff you've got to bear in mind as well. So I only use the $20 one. And what you're going to have to do is download AIM if you don't already have it, it's AOL's Instant Messenger. And you want to download that program and add to these four people and message one of them, whichever one's online at the time, and ask them if you can buy a day or whatever on Xbox Live Stealth. Once you've paid them the money, they will send, they will ask you to give them your uh, PayPal name and PayPal email address so they can verify that it's you that's paid them and they'll also ask for your CPU key so that they can use that to verify you on the service in case you try and the, the reason they do that is to um, make sure you're not like giving Xbox Live Stealth to other people for free and then there's like 10 people all using the one day uh, package that you bought rather than just you but using it um, so they they take your CPU key for verification so only your console will be able to um, use the service and once you have done that um, if you've net if it's your first time buying Xbox Live Stealth emulator they will send you the files um, these are the files here um, I'm not sure if I'll include them in the description because really um, like you can even if you have these files, like I say, they take the CPU key for verification, so you still have to buy it. Um, so if you're buying it anyway, they'll send you a download link for the files. So I may not include it in the description. I might include it in the description. I'm not sure if I will or not yet. But um, yeah, anyway, you will. They'll send you these files anyway, so it'll be in a WinRAR archive. You just want to extract them. You've got a dash launch uh, launch.ini file, which has got all the correct settings for dash launch. So, you know, you've got uh, the Xbox Live Stealth plugin added into plugins, and you've got the XBDM plugin added as well. And then you've got a README if you want to read that through. Basically, what I'm telling you just now. Um, You've got an xbdm.xcx which is for Xbox 360 Neighborhood and you've got the Xbox Live Stealth.xcx. So all of this stuff needs to go in the root of your hard drive. So I'm going to use Xbox 360 Neighborhood. You just open it up and you drag and drop all three of these files 
in here. I'm not going to drag and drop the launch.ini because I'm not using stealth at the moment and I don't want it to change my dash launch settings right now. But you would copy all three of these files into the root of your hard drive which is HDD1. Um, if you don't have HDD1 because you don't have an Xbox 360 hard drive, put it in the root of wherever dash launch is um, placed. So wherever you've set dash launch to save the launch.ini is the place where you want to put these three files. So in the root of some kind of storage device. So you can see there I've got Xbox Live Stealth, the XBDM. You also want to make sure your KV and CPU key.bin are in the root of the hard drive as well, as I explain in episode 20. So all you've got to do now is boot up the console. I'll show you what to do from there. Alright guys. Okay, so when the console boots up, if you have put the launch.ini file in the correct place, replacing the old one that you had, then it should boot you into the default dashboard. Now, I won't be able to get an accurate representation of what's supposed to happen because I don't have time on Xbox Live Stealth right now. Um, so, for me, it'll give me a message saying I need to buy more time. Uh, there you go. Um, but what it should say for you if you have bought Xbox Live Stealth emulated is it should say... Um, it was successful or uh, reboot to finalize. Um, when it says reboot to finalize, what you have to do is simply turn your console off and back on again. Once it boots up for the second time, um, if you have connection to the internet and you have a unbanned key vault in the correct place on the root of your hard drive and the CPU key.bin on the root of your hard drive, then it should say Xbox Live Stealth was successfully um, or fully stealthed plus bypassed or something like that. It should say it was successful and it was fully stealthed plus bypassed and that means you're ready to, well you're connected and you can just go ahead, create a new Xbox Live account and um, yeah it will be spoofed gold as well so you don't need to pay for gold uh, Xbox Live membership because it will be a silver account but um, Xbox Live Stealth emulated kind of tricks Microsoft into thinking it's gold account or something and point is you get gold on any new account that you create once you're on stealth so a few other things I should mention obviously make sure that you are connected through wired or wireless um, make sure you have a IP address um, dynamic or manually configured as long as it works and um, there's a few other messages you might get. Now you should, if you have bought time on Xbox Live Stealth, it should say reboot to finalize, like I said, and you reboot the console and it'll say fully stealth plus bypassed. If it doesn't say fully stealth plus bypassed, it might say something else. It might say um, XBLSE dash disabled. If it gives you that message, it's usually because either you're not authenticated on their service, um, so you gave them the wrong CPU key or they haven't put your CPU key in as a verification for some reason um, or the more simple reason it says that is because you're not connected to the internet so like I said before check to make sure you have a valid IPv4 address so that your console is definitely reaching out to their server and the other message you might get is XBLSE-enabled um, you might think that's good, it says it's enabled, but it's actually also a bad message for you to get if you get XBLSE-enabled. If it gives you enabled, it usually means that either, again, you're not authenticated on their service, or um, the other reason that you might be getting that message is that your key vault is actually banned. So if you've got a banned key vault, it will say XBLSE enabled, meaning you are able to connect to their server, um, but you've got a banned key vault. So you need to get an unbanned one for it to say fully stealth plus bypassed and let you on Xbox Live. So I think that's pretty much everything. There's actually one thing in the README um, that I forgot. 
forgot to mention. Okay, something that is stated in the README, um, which says, restart your Xbox and wait. If it takes more than five boot loops, double check the above and contact me. So if you're rebooting, you reboot the console to finalize and it doesn't give you any messages, doesn't say it's disabled, doesn't say it's enabled, doesn't say um, fully stealth plus bypassed or um, or maybe it doesn't even say the reboot to finalize message when you turn the console on initially. Um, if it takes more than five times to do that, like you try five times booting the console and you still don't get any of the messages, uh, it says double check that you've done pretty much what I've explained in the tutorial um, correctly and if you have then and it's still not working then contact the person who sold you stealth and hopefully they'll try and get it sorted for you but I think that is pretty much it so now what you can do is go on Xbox Live enjoy playing you're using your JTAG on Xbox Live because there's so much stuff you can do. I've got a bunch of um, sort of live commentary uh, vids from when I was hosting on Saturday. Um, we were playing Halo 3 real time editing, it was really awesome. And we were doing like COD 4 Hawking Zombie Land and just get an idea of how fun those game modes are to play, which can only be done with your JTAG online. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give it a like if you liked the video and found the information useful. Of course, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, comment if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in my next video. This is really how we live.